What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Welcome out, everyone, all of you great decoders around the world, wherever you may be, both male and female. My name is Logan, and this, of course, is Decode Your Reality. And today we're going to be breaking down and decoding the society of Jesus, the Jesuits. So it's been a long time coming. We've had this one shelf for quite some time. I didn't even want to do this one. You're going to see this video is going to have a lot of views to it because people love their dirty laundry. Put something out that's, you know, on the good side. Now nah, doesn't get many views. People aren't interested in that. They want love. They want peace, but they want to know about the dirty laundry. This is not about the dirty laundry with this group, by the way. This is not to bash them or put them down. Or No, I don't do that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just a tour guide showing you the machinations of how this reality works. Whatever you want to do with it, that's up to you. I'm not into the blame game like some other decoders. I'm not a finger pointer. It's not my, that's not my, my job, my responsibility. Maybe it is for you, but not mine. That's low frequency energy. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Just calling it like it is. But get strapped in, get settled in. This one is going to be another gem, I promise you. So folks, if you haven't really researched this group, I would highly encourage that you do because obviously if you're in the decoding world, this group gets a lot of heavy artillery in the negative side. And, you know, people just decode words and they tie it to something else and they automatically think they got it figured out. Now, I'm not saying that these groups aren't doing certain things on the world stage, but there's more to it than just the negative things that you read about it. And I don't work for this group. I don't know anybody in this group. I'm not promoting this group. I'm decoding it. I'm just going to show you the tour of this. But I would highly encourage that you read about this group. I mean, they're, uh, you know, they're consecrated under the patronage of the Madonna della Strada, the, you know, the Virgin Mary. And when you do the numerology of it, bam, right out of the gates, it's 58. Most of you know, it's tied to this word right here. Just another word for what runs this reality. It's the puppet master right there, right out of the gates. So this has a lot of energy. I mean, this, these have been around such a long time. So the amount of energy they have, just Jesus alone, the energy of Jesus, the name is mind-blowing. It's so astronomical, so powerful because so many people have given it their energy. So the idea of Jesus makes it real. Whether or not he was a real dude doesn't make a difference because the idea makes it real. But I'd highly suggest you go research, do some real research on this group, get into the spiritual exercises when they all started out and 
bring into this cave in the mountains and you 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 discern it says that you have the ability to discern between the good and evil spirits talking about the angels and demons which seemingly appeared to be running this reality in some way shape or form working for the same boss because it's all a ponzi scheme from my research but please read about this stuff and you know like all organizations they start off <laughs> you know a certain way and then they end a certain way but these are obviously the militants of the of the vatican and to defend the church that's their job you may not like their job but that's their job but let's get into the meat and potatoes of this whole entire organization starting with this slide got a few intro slides these have been i've been sh shelving for a while this is the latinized spelling of it and if you go to their website again just so we can be crystal clear here it is because it's in latin why latin because that's where the vatican is the headquarters italian so this is what they this is the you know the official you could say society of jesus i'm going to show that that's 57 but that's the 42 and the 42 is such a big i've decoded 42 please check that one out what does the 42 mean the words reincarnation equals 42 crucifixion equals 42 wonderland equals 42 life the universe everything hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy is 42. these this organization does not get a hall pass mankind is being used it's an exp we're an experiment we're playing out a script and we're all hogs down here the groundhogs if you haven't seen my groundhog day decoded check it out tells you a lot about how this reality works and this 42 through alchemy is this element right here called molybdenum and if you haven't seen my lead to gold check it out because molybdenum's in there and it's comes from the greek word molybdos which means lead and it's the most abundant weight is 97 which is the 25th prime number tied to the black sun and i feel like mankind and earth is the black sun but nonetheless let's keep going with this how about the logo for this organization they have 32 rays count them out 32 rays and it's tied directly to this right here called black and white that's exactly the reality we live in we live in a scripted duality it's your spirit and your ego only in the chaldean ladies and gentlemen you're going to find these direct connections like this this is the best cipher you can use to decode from that's my opinion but i've been supporting that many of you are seeing it now oldest known numerology cipher if you're new to decoding this is the one you want to use as your primary cipher simplify your life but here's the first synchronization with duality it's what caused mankind to fall into duality the story says it's the serpent and the serpent is starting with the letter s and it's tied to the element sulfur sulfur has an average weight of 32.06 it's got 16 protons and we go to the word hell and you can see the connection so when you get down into duality you're in hell and you got to make heaven out of it and it's going to be both but there it is right there and then you know we get into duality itself being the number 20 and i mean you see how it's tied to the same exact constructs using the same numerology cipher it's 20 20 mason's 20 free is 20. and the jesuits are the knights they're known as the 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 horses they fight for the church and it seems the stories they'll do what they're militants the soldier soul means the sun soldier means the person who works for the sun which is why they have it in their logo and it's the knight on the chessboard the horses if you ever played chess that's what, it was, that's what this is all about and you know each side has 16 pieces you got the eight pawns and then you got the eight major pieces behind them 16 pieces per side gives you the 32 that's the game of chess that's what we're all playing at we're playing a game here so this organization i feel is just kind of a disguise a front for whatever reasons but i feel it just goes all the way back to ancient israel jerusalem and the torah the bible would not be complete without the old testament those of you that are christians well you're like well i'm a christian well actually if we, we really want to be technical you're jewish because if you don't use the old testament you can't have the bible as a complete book and the bible the old testament the torah the talmud was written by the jewish nation 
And you can see, if you just look right here, it's the Roman Catholics. You can see that it, it's not just the 19, it matches every single number. The four, the seven, the two, the one, and the five. It's right there for Roman, and it's right there for Torah. You can go research that the, the, the Roman Catholic Church and the Vatican. It's all just a, a front for the, the land of Israel. And it's this S. You know, the 19 is the letter S, and it's the dragon. The great dragon, and the dragon is the sine wave, making up electromagnetism. And it's tied to Leo the lion. We're going to get into that. The number five representing duality. And this 46, the eye of providence. Providence is 46. So it's all tied together, and it's all a big Ponzi scheme, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I decided to look at the mileage between these two big cities, because I feel like they're connected completely. And I'm going to prove that through what they, Society of Jesus, puts on their website. What their consecration was to, was to Jerusalem. But nonetheless, here it is, right off just a, a website, just a common website, distance between, it's 1,432.64 miles. You round up, you get 1433 between Jerusalem and the Vatican. And lo and behold, it's not just any number, it's the freaking 227th prime number. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, you will be seeing this tie-in over and over. It'll gonna get monotonous, like a broken record. Most of you know if you take 22 and you divide it by seven, you're gonna get pi. And that's why if you go to my, my video here and you watch this decode, you're gonna see Yalabath running pi, running it, owning it, being in that space. The whole gamma, everything. And I feel like the Gnostic Demiurge runs all religion. It's the big Ponzi scheme. And it's tied to this element right here called actinium. And it means alpha. It's alpha dominant energy is what it is. And there's the 227, there's the 89, and bam, there's the Yaldabaoth. In the English, in the Chaldean, it's the 29. You're going to see that. This is not by accident, folks, and I am I am absolute. This, these are absolutes for me that these two cities, these two religions are one in the same. So if you take the numerology of them, Jerusalem and Vatican City, you get the number 60, which is, you know, feed the wolf, but it's 30 and 30. And it's tied to the word demiurge, the word Jehovah equals 30, the word Santa Claus coming, going down in a hole. The whole joke about religion and Christmas, and it's just all the big comedy show of the architect. Whatever created this reality is a stand-up comedian. This reality is not real. Not to whatever's observing it, but nonetheless, bringing this into the string of pi, again, Yaldabaoth tied to pi, the demiurge, it's tied to 64, 64 and 65 which is going to give you 129, which is going to give you tellurium, which means earth. But there's the 30 tied to the 64, which is why I have the DNA strand right there, the double helix going down in the hole and 64 squares on a chessboard. You can't, you, you can't make this up. You can see it now, ladies and gentlemen. You can't unsee it. Okay, you can't unsee it. So just follow along with my narration. I'm just trying to get through the intro. Wait till I get to the meat and potatoes of this re of this presentation. So we have the 60, we have the 30 for Jerusalem and Vatican City, and then there's the New Age name for the JW faith, which I grew up in. I know all about it. And it's the 30. There's no separation between Yaldabaoth and Jehovah. Yaldabaoth and the yod heh vah -He. It's all the same, folks. Brahma. It's all the same. Okay? And then you can bring alchemy in it to bridge the gap. There's the 30 in zinc. And zinc, if you go study it, it shows the roof and coming down the roof. It's just very comical. And if you take 30 digits into the string of pi, you're going to get the number 147. And March 14th, the actual day for pi day is day 73 and 74. Get out your calculator. 73 and 74 is 147. And then you get phosphorus, which is tied to Lucifer, the light bringer, and you get silicon. And silicon is tied to the future. Okay, so Lucifer, Jesus, they're all tied together. They're all one and the same. They may have different jobs and responsibilities, but they still work together. And there isn't any separation of this. So we get into the coordinates of Jerusalem and the Vatican City. 
And you can start to see a little bit more of the narration here. Jerusalem being 31 degrees north and 35 degrees east. You add that up, you're going to get 66. It's tied to this element called dysprosium. Dysprosium means hard to get. Hard to get. Okay? Hard to get. That's what it means. These are clues about how our reality works. The most abundant. I didn't even know this till I was looking at this, and I study alchemy a lot. It's this 153, and how many fish were caught? in the story of throwing the nets over to the right side of the boat, 153. It can also be found in Gadolinium, the 64th element tied to our DNA, but it's in Dysprosium. And then you get the Vatican City, 41 degrees north, 12 degrees east, and you're going to get 53, and there's the iodine, the I am that I am. Notice that the average weight of Dysprosium is a flip, a permutation of the weight of iodine, 126, 162. It's, it's right there. You can't miss it. And this 126 is really big because it's going to be tied to the actual numerology of these two words, both in the Greek, the original spellings now. This is rare to find it exactly matching in one language and then in the Chaldean. So with the original Greek of dysprosium and iodine, right there from the Greek, it's a 62. And then when you place it in the Chaldean numerology, it's a 62. And you can see the 62 and the weight of dysprosium and the 26, which is a permutation of the 62 in iodine. This is a big deal. 62 leads to the number eight. Eight's tied to the 19, 19 is tied to the sun. And then last but not least, if you take 66 and 53 found from adding up the Latitude, longitude of Jerusalem and the Vatican City, 66 and 53. Simple math, it's going to give you that infamous 119, which is the mirror of the 911. And it's tied to this element, tin, which is the merger of worlds. Tin is the 50. 50 is tied to Jupiter, Zeus, the great Zeus, tied to Jupiter. This means stanum. But it's tied, it's right on the back of the dollar bill. Those of you that are living in the United States, in God we trust right there, back to the Chaldean, there's the 50 again. And there's just so many ways we can keep breaking this down, folks. But it's all a big Ponzi scheme. All of it. And this is no exception. So that was the intro. Bam! Now right off the bat, that was the, the intro. And let's get into the meat and potatoes of this presentation now. The top six categories, number one, the church, number two, <coughs> 271. This is a big number. Number three, I-E-S-U. This is the Latinized spelling of Jesus, actually coming from the Hebrew. Number four, the game. Number five, 57. And number six, consecration, which is going to be a big topic. And then number seven, I always love to hear what you see. Keep your comments coming. Number seven, what did you see? So let's get into this first topic now, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the intro, let's get into, well, man, put on your seatbelts. Here we go, the church, the church. So it starts with Ignatius of Loyola. And I'm going to show it a few different ways here, but notice that it's the number 61. 61 is the element Prometheum. Prometheum is the Titan who stole fire to give it to the humans, created humans out of clay. Not just the, the one that stole fire, which is wisdom, tied to the serpent, but it's also tied to creation itself. If you haven't seen my pineal gland decoded, it's, it's all in there. It's Prometheus and Epimetheus, but it's the 61. And it's the same exact words as the church, because this is the society of Jesus. Jesus is known as the archangel Michael. And you can see that it's exactly 22 here and church 24 Ignatius 24. Jesus in the Greek is 24. I'm going to be showing that, but it's a direct match exactly. Not just the 61, but it's the same exact words. It's the church of Michael, the archangel Michael. And you know, you'll see these all seeing eyes. That's why it's a lot of people, they think, oh, there's the devil made the devil sign. And it doesn't mean that folks. <laughs> it doesn't mean that, but nonetheless, let's keep going. There's the 61 and the 46 comes up now, the eye of providence. If you take 24, if you get rid of the word of, it's a filler word, Ignatius and Loyola, it's a 46 and it's the eye of providence, which is what this is right there. You see, the eye of providence, 46. It's 
right there, the Church of Michael, the Society of Jesus. So this 61 is a big deal because it's the 18th prime number. And the word Jesus equals 18. So much energy this gets. Obviously very powerful. 61 is the 18th prime number, and it's known as the Society of Jesus. So you can see the connection right there, folks, just in the Chaldean. That's how closely linked this is to the source code right there. And then we bring in some cards now because I want to get some pictures. You got, uh, Hopefully, those of you that are returning subscribers, you know how I roll. Those of you that are new, I'm going to bring in many layers to connect to show you how the reality works and how it's all scripted. And we just continue to add layers and you can see how much detailed it gets. And when we get super detailed, you can see, man, I could never code something like this. So many moving parts. So the 18th card in the cards of illumination, the 52 cards that make up our reality, 52 cards, 52 weeks, four suits, four seasons. This is the 18th card, the five of clubs. The five, the five represents mankind. Five is five fingers, five toes, the five. And there's the X there. And the X is the 24th letter. There's so many symbols with this, but this five of clubs is gonna pass into this card right here through the tarot to get the picture. It's the five of wands. And you can see this card means fighting and chaos and battles and arguments <laughs> that's exactly what happens in this reality fighting fighting it out and it's the 27th card in the deck just want to be very transparent i'm using the card the card deck with the fool at zero and the card position number 22 you can observe it different ways but this is a very popular way and here's the 27th card right there the five of wands so coming back to this right here, being the 27th card, we now have a very big and important synchronization for the Society of Jesus and religion as a whole, folks, because all religions are owned by the same boss, but it's the element cobalt. And it's really, I think I call this the chaos and order element. Cobalt, if you study it, it means goblin and it comes from the word cobalt, which is the number 19, which is going to be tied to the sun. That's why they got the sun logo here. But it's going to be tied to Jupiter because when you go to the numerology of Jupiter, you're going to see it's the 27. You see? So it's very interesting, which, you know, it's tied to this word right here, which is what we're all being used for. Currency. That's what this whole reality is made up of. Electromagnetic currency tied to Jupiter. The, think about it. The largest planet, if you're really thinking about using logic and discernment here, the largest planet, the largest celestial body, whatever you want to call it, the largest is tied to the largest religion in the world, Christianity. It's got the largest stake, one point something billion, folks. And it's tied to Jupiter, the largest planet with the all-seeing eye on it. And this cobalt, and there's that 58. What was the Madonna in numerology? The 58. So the, the patronage is to Jupiter. It's tied to Jupiter, the striped planet, tied to the tiger, and so many different ways you can pull this out. And then we bring in another layer, the medicine cards, the 52 cards, using animals, insects, and reptiles to give us another layer. These cards came out in 1988. It's the dragonfly card, card 27. You see, so what happened? It's the great dragon gets hurled down. It's light coming down to play the game and becoming physical matter. And we're all the Jesus Christ character. We're all the Christ. I've been, that's what we are. We're all Christ. We're all love. You just got to awaken to the fact that that's what you are. You got to carry your own cross kind of in a funny way. But this is the, the great dragon. You can see what's going on here in these, this group. Right there with this 61 and 18. 61 plus 18 is going to give you 79, which is gold. So let's get into the second topic now. This is a really big one right here because these three numbers are very, very important to this organization. And it all really starts with this guy right here, which is Ignatius. And here's his full name, his birth name that I found. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but I decided to use, which I don't really use much of, the trigonal, the triangular. And the triangular is important because the square and the circle, 
that make up our reality is got to be including the, the triangle, the tetrahedron. And there's just so many ways to look at that. If you haven't seen my architect of the universe, I broke it all down with numbers and symbols and sacred geometry. But this trigonal is very, very important. Notice it's Loyola and there's the 722. Remember 22 divided by seven is pi, which is going to tie to Yaldabaoth through the trigonal numbers. But it's the 2692 and bring it into the string of pi. Look at where it's found. 17,041st digit. What do you see there? Those of you that are returning subscribers, straight up decoders, you know what the one, seven and the four and the one, these are numbers according to Manly P. Hall and myself as well. These are the numbers of Lucifer. Okay. So when the, when the, when the great dragon gets hurled down right here, it's tied to Lucifer. Lucifer is the light bringer. And it's not what you think it is. If you're just going to go straight on the dogma and the programming that you've been given, but let's keep going. So this 271 is tied to the seven, four, and one, which is tied to, you know, in the string of pi, Ig Ignatius's full name through the trigonal, the triangle. Okay. The triangle is very important. The pyramid tied to the eye of providence. And so if you take the IHS, which is in their logo, which is just the short nice version of Jesus through the Greek, it's the 271 and seven, one, seven, four, one is the 271st prime number. And I want you to keep in mind a very big takeaway from this ladies and gentlemen, because in the year 1540 on September 27th, this group was formed and 1540 was a leap year. So it makes it the 271st day of the year. If it wasn't a leap year, it would have been 270, but there would have been the 27 in there anyway. So this 271, this 127, 172, this two and seven is massive because it's tied to their day on the calendar. I mean, September 27th, and it's the 274. You see the 27 in there? Tied to the IHS through the trigonal, and it's tied to the 741, which is tied to the pi placement for this 2692 from the trigonal. So the triangle has a lot to do with this presentation, giving you some more tidbits of this. Of course, the 271 is the 58th prime number. We go right back to the puppet master. Remember the Madonna as also the 58, the patronage of the Vatican and the Jesuits, the society of Jesus It's all about the Virgin Mary and it's 50. That's 58. And so it's all about the great dragon and the dragon makes up the sine and cosine wave, which is called pi, which is what we all make up through our emotions, but it's electromagnetism. And you know, the society of Jesus is the defender of the Catholic church. There's the 27. And it's all about currency. Currency is 27. Catholic is 27. Sports is 27. You see, it's all about currency, what people are being used for right there 27 is a bit and it's just all here folks you can see it i mean these guys were founded on the 27th you can see how big this is and it's just in the chaldean ladies and gentlemen that's why it's a top dog cipher including the trigonal here but the chaldeans the big takeaway and then you get you know obviously this symbol right here is the square and compass squaring the circle why i'm showing this is because here's the 27th card in the deck tied to this element cobalt tied to jupiter tied to the 58 and the puppet master and the Madonna and that's tying it to Catholic. And you know, what could you, what shape can you fit right in here? <laughs> you can fit the diamond right in there. Make no mistake about it. Lucy in the sky with diamonds, Lucy, Lucifer, the great dragon. It's light coming down to become man. It's what it means. And then here's the Vatican city through the trigonal. What do you see right there? Bam, there's that one, two, and seven again, just in the same cipher. So, you know, obviously the trigonal, I, I'm starting to get very fond of this one. I don't use it much, but I couldn't help but using it after I was looking at the IHS. I mean, IHS, if you go to the uh, Chaldean, IHS is the one, the five, and the three. And how many fish, again, did the apostles catch? In that story of the Christ, throw your boat, throw your nets over to the right side. It's 153. That's why, you know, Chaldean is very special to me, but there it is. But, you know, I decided to just 
check it out with this IHS just because of what I found with Ignatius and his name. But you can see the source code. This is all part of the source code. Man could never get all this stuff the way it is. It's just too complicated. Too, way too complicated. And, you know, the Vatican City, that there's that 127. There's especially that 27. The 27 is tied to the dragon. It's tied to the dragon. So when we get into the formation date, September 27th, being the 271st day of the year because 1540 is a leap year and then tying it to that number 58 through the prime, tied to the puppet master, tied to the Madonna. I decided to look at a very big layer that many decoders don't use. And I'm gonna encourage you to start using it. Some of you do. Some of you in my Telegram group, some of you great decoders, very small group of you are using the sine and cosine waves, which is the measurement of pi itself perfect circle that we make up and that's the currency the electromagnetic waves so you can measure these numbers with this the sine and cosine wave i mean it's very very important so here's the 271 and the 271 when you add up the sine and cosine waves here they are right there and then i added them all up the total amount is 107. If you take the set 0.73 and 0.68 you add that up you're going to get 141 which is pi but nonetheless, it's the 107. And the 107 is the 28th prime number. The 28th prime number now. And it's tied to this element right here called nickel. And nickel means the number five. Like if you have, you have a nickel on you in the United States, the nickel is the five cent piece. Five is man. Five represents duality. It's the sun coming down to play out man celestial body coming down to play out man and nickels called devil's copper that's why i say be the best little devil you can be this is the most abundant weight of nickel 57.935 the average is 58 this is going to be isotope 58 and you're going to see that 58 play out and it's going to play out right now through the sign of leo the lion you see leo the lion is a very important layer for this for the society of jesus as well because you see, Leo the lion is the representation of our identity. Leos are known as the pride, the lion. They work for the pride, right? If you study just, you know, the animals themselves, the lions, they live inside of a pride. If you take the word pride and you bring it into the English language, pride means you're prideful and it means your ego. Five is your ego, your identity. And Leo the lion is ruled by the sun. It's ruled by the sun. And the 28, of course, Lucifer's 28, Regulus, the main star now, if you get into the constellations, the main, the brightest star in Leo, the heart of Leo is called Regulus. And it's the 28. So we now bring it, and there's a very specific reason why I'm showing you this, because the consecration date for the Society of Jesus is August 15th, which is in the Western tropical, it's going to be the sign of Leo. And it's tied to nickel. And nickel is 19. And 19 in the tarot is the sun card. You see? And here's Yaldabaoth. And Yaldabaoth is known as the worm with the lion's head. And there's the sun behind his head. Look familiar? Society of Jesus, their, their logo is the sun. And the only zodiac sign with the lion is Leo. And Leo is ruled by the sun. The sun. So you could see the connections here. From the sine and cosine wave of the 271... The measurement of this number, the frequency it gives off, found from this right here and then the IHS, which is in the logo of this organization. Okay, that's that. this is deep decoding, folks, but this is right in your face. This is showing you the source code, what's behind the source code. And it's, of course, tied to nickel, and, and we bring in Leo the Lion, because I, I, this is the consecration date. And I'm going to be showing that right here. I have this topic coming up, the consecration. You're going to see it. So this regular star, if you go study it, the Latinized version of it, always want to check the Latinized version because we're breaking down Latin through the Vatican and the Society of Jesus in the Latinized version is 
Alpha Leonis. Alpha. And Jesus is 18. You see? Jesus is 18. Alpha is 18. Leonis is 24. And Jesus' is twin brother. Not very popular, but it's there. I've been saying. It's 24. 24. Ignatius is 24. Leonis is 24. Thomas is 24. Church is 24. Jesus in the Greek is 24. It's the two twins, folks. The two twins. That's why Jesus and Lucifer are tied together. One and the same. And there's, you know, there's the connection. The 42. It's the Latinized spelling of it. 42. Jesus and Thomas, 42. Alpha Leonis. It's the star Regulus in the sign of Leo. 42. Okay? And I'm going to be showing this more and more. The originations. Because the astrology rules over this world. It runs this world. We are subordinate to it. And you can see it in the script. And so, you know, in the Bible, it's all about heaven and hell. Ooh. A very scary hell. Hades and Sheol. These words. 42. <laughs> Through the Greek. See, I feel like the New Testament is the, the marker for these concepts. Because the Torah has its own way. They'll talk about Sheol, but these words really kind of came up, really made famous through the, the Greek scriptures, the New Testament. And you can't have one without the other. You need the old with the new. Forms a complete circuit because the Bible's a battery. It's tied to Taurus. But it's tied to reincarnation, to heaven and hell. That's why these concepts, these concepts could likely get you recycled back into the game. So going back to this Latinized spelling of what they go by, being the 42 and being the 27 and the 15. We bring in the medicine cards once again and look at what we get for pictures. I mean, you want to talk about clarity of what the Society of Jesus means through the Latinized spelling of it? The Society is the dragon. The great dragon got hurled down. That's electromagnetism. And then it's the 15, which represents Jesus. And it's the wolf. Feed the wolf. And of course, if you bring in the tarot, it's the devil card. Oh, no, G Jesus is not the devil. He can't be the devil. Okay. Numbers say differently. That's why you got to be the best. You are the Jesus character. You are the Christ. You got to be the best little devil. You're a sinner, folks. Just kind of have fun with this reality. And then even when you do the numerology of the dragonfly and the wolf, again, these cards, these P these. These cards came out in 1988 by a bunch of Native Americans. They weren't sitting down trying to mock you or screw you over. They're not, they're not part of the Society of Jesus. Yet here we are, synchronizing numerology with a simple deck of medicine cards that are very sacred to the Native American traditions. I found these through a real Cherokee shaman up in Northern California. That's how I found them. You can do your totem pole. They have a very sacred energy to them. But when you combine them with something that has nothing to do with them, you can see the pictures standing right out. What this society means, and it's feed the wolf. And you are the wolf. Wolf is 24 in Chaldean, which is tied to Jesus, which is tied to church, which is tied to Thomas and the two twins, and, and it's tied to the puppet master. See, there's no escaping this, folks. And that's Jupiter. And Jupiter's tied to Yaldabaoth. And Saturn fits in there as well, but... We bring in some alchemy into this to get a picture of what this is talking about. It's, again, cobalt. There's the 58, 27 and 58. There's the puppet master once again. And then we bring in the light bringer and we get phosphorus. You see, so the Latinized spelling of it is the 15 and that's going to tie to Lucifer. So what this is saying right here, there's no separation between the two. They're one and the same. Jesus and Lucifer, Jesus and Thomas, the light bringer, phosphorus. I mean, pH is tied, stands for potential hydrogen, which is what our blood is measured at. Potential hydrogen is, you know, the, the, tied to the sun as well. But there's the 30 in the Demiurge. What's the Demiurge? Well, it's Yeldabaoth. It's the Yod. And if you don't like that, it's Brahma. And if you don't like that, it'll be Mazda. And if you don't like that, it'll be, you know, Enki and Enlil. Enki and Enlil equal 30, by the way. Enki and Enlil. 
equal 30. Let me just, you know, just so we can be really transparent, Anki and Lil, 30. You see, there, there is no separation for this, folks. It's all packaged in a little bit of a different mannerism. If you don't like one, you're going to get it with the other one. But ultimately, it's a big Ponzi scheme. And it's all right there. Just got to have fun with this reality, folks. Not take it so serious. And then when we do the alchemy of these two, cobalt and phosphorus, from the original of these two words, society and Jesus, you're going to get the 89. Cobalt and ph phosphorus, 89. We go right back. I showed this in the beginning. It's this alpha actinium. It's the 227. Remember, Lo uh, Ignatius of Loyola through Trigonal was 722. And, you know, the consecration, which I got a topic coming out. The consecration of this organization, when they had their pilgrimage to Jerusalem, was on August 15th, 1534. And look what day of the year it is. 227th day of the year. So am I stretching something here? Uh, no. You see, if you know how to bridge the gap with these layers, you know what you're looking at. This is the source code telling you what's going on, telling, showing you the script. And Yaldabaoth is, and you know, if you like the Quran, it's going to be Allah. Allah is known as the Lord of Sirius. It's not Sirius, it's the lo it's lording over, protecting Sirius. And if you go study Syria, uh, you go study Yaldabaoth, you'll see Yaldabaoth's mother is Sophia. Sophia is tied to Sirius itself. The all-seeing eye, Sirius, Alan Parsons project. This is all crystal clear, ladies and gentlemen. So the Demiurge runs this reality much more powerful than any of us. Obviously, we have to have respect for that. It's just the way it is. And it's tied to Yaldabaoth, it's the Yod. It's all the same. There, there is no separation with this, folks. There, there, there can't be when you start to really properly synchronize all, all this kind of stuff. So let's get into this right here, this topic. This is the spelling of, like, when you look at, right here it is. This is what the Society of Jesus goes by. This is their spelling of it now. Okay, that's this is their spelling of it, and it's this right here. And let me just see if I can get the um, the audio of this because I have it right here. And this is let me see if I can get it. Co come on here. Iezu. 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 Okay, I, I I would imagine that's how you pronounce it. That's what they go by. And again, here it is. It's right there. Okay, the Latinized version. That's what this is all about. Latin. Okay, it's right there. So there has to be some kind of merit to that because this is what they're going by. So let's break this down. Going to go right back to this 42, this 27, and this 15. Hang on to your seat. But bu buckle up, folks. It's about to get bumpy. It's about to get bumpy. Because, you see, here's the connection to astrology. Iezu, which means Jesus, directly ties to the number 15, which is tied to Leo the Lion. Remember, the consecration date was August 15th. There's the 15. There's the 15. And there's the five, ruled by the sun. Leo the lion. Look at the lion right there. This is Yaldabaoth. Okay? And when you continue to go down the line, this was probably uh, one of the biggest finds that I have found in a very long time that goes right along the lines of my prison planet series especially part two so please pay attention this is really important information so i didn't even know this until i started to decode this latinized version of it that there was this spelling right here through the hebrew and that's where it came from and i told you roman catholic just means Jew jewish it's judaism Okay, it's all going back to that. And the God of the Old Testament, the Yod is Yaldabaoth. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the numerology of Jesus. Now, I know you can, you can there's so many different layers, Jesus and Yeshua. No, it's Yeshua. Well, Yeshua is 53, and that's going to be the 16th prime number leading to hell. Okay, so there's so many different ways, but this is big because they use it. I didn't even know it existed. And this is it. If you go study it, please, you know, I think I have it. 
no, I don't have it with me here, but nonetheless, this is it right here. And here is the numerology of it. Here's the full expression through the Hebrew. It's 37. Now, if you've been paying attention, what's the recycle process? The only anomaly in pi, 19, 37, 46. 46 being providence, the eye of providence, 19 tied to the sun. This is Jesus now. And then the, the all the way reduced down to single digits, it's the 10. Say 10. The 10. We have five fingers, five toes. Five fingers on one side, five fingers on the other. 10. We're the devil, folks. <laughs> Say 10. You are it. You're in time. You're chasing time. You only got a short period of time. And the biggest takeaway for this, ladies and gentlemen, was this right here. Bam! This blew me away. This is the full gematria through the Hebrew going to the highest limits of these numbers. It's the 316. And those of you that are fans of the great Jordan over at Waters Above Crypto, you might want to pay attention to this because this is Jordan's birthday. Jordan was born on March 16th. Now I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to show you with absolute clear and convincing evidence what this whole Jesus character is linked to. So I'm going to use this as the example. I already showed these, but let's show the 316. And it's tied to this date right here. You see, if you've been seeing this number right here, many of you have, and you're wondering like, what does it mean? Well, this is one layer of what it means. You see, November 11th is known as, maybe you were born on November 11th. I know Leonardo DiCaprio was born on November 11th. What is his first name? Leonardo, Leo, Leonardo. He was born on this day. You see, no denying that. That's not stretching anything. That's knowing what the source code is saying. Leonardo DiCaprio, November 11th, Leo. <laughs> okay. And it's the... 316th day of the year using the leap years. Now I'm using leap years because this society was founded in a leap year. But you can go to November 12th and there it is, November 12th, 316. Of course, in leap years, there's that 317, the permutation of the fine structure constant, the 137 being the 33rd prime number tied to barium in the 56 and lights, camera, action. We're living in a movie. And 11 and 12 is going to give you 23. 23 is the royal star of the lion, which is Yaldabaoth, <laughs> which is tied to Regulus and the heart of the lion. <laughs> but it's the, if you're seeing the 11, 11, well, it's the, now you know it's tied to the Christ. And this just may be the oldest version of it right there. Can't say for sure, but it's a pretty big deal. And just going further with this to solidify what I'm saying about this 316. See, when you bring in the cards of illumination, November 11th is the nine clubs card. And it's the 22nd card in the deck. Now, what is 1111 when you add up the two numbers, removing the colon? 22. You see, folks? See how amazing the cards of illumination are? How much say they have in our, in our reality? And the nine is, of course, the, is tied to Jupiter because it Jupiter owns the ninth house. Sagittarius, the ninth zodiac sign, if you're a fan of Western astrology, it's ruled by Jupiter. It's just tied to Yaldabaoth. It's tied to the house of Abraxas. But this being the 22nd card, I mean, there's the dead giveaway. Again, the comedy. You see, the archangel Michael, if it doesn't get you one way, it's going to get you the other way. It's how powerful the Jesus character is, the whole idea, because there's so much that goes into this. But there it is, the, the, the Michael. And, you know, what's interesting is when you go here and you type in the word dragon, that's going to be the 22. So it's Michael who fought the dragon. You see, and they're both 22s in the script. But how about that? I mean... The 1111 card, the 316th day of the year in the leap year, found from the original spelling of this, from the Society of Jesus, what they go by. It's tied to the 1111, which is tied to the 22, 
just tied to titanium and the 47 and the tetragrammaton and all that kind of stuff. But how about the March 16th date, the actual birthday of the great Jordan from what is above crypto born on March 16th, tied to the Christ, his energy. If you know the guy, if you know what he's all about, he's living through that kind of love energy. And I mean, he represents it so well. And it's the, you know, 75th and 76th day of the year. 76 tied to the Osmium, the Wizard of Oz. It's tied to the Christ. And 75 is tied to Renium, and Renium's tied to the speed of light. And, you know, what do you see here with these two dates that represent the 316 coming from the Christ? It's the golden ratio. You can't miss that right there. From these two birthdays. And then when we bring in the cards representing the Christ found from the original spelling all the way back to the Hebrew, the Old Testament. Well, it's the nine of clubs from November 11th and then for the March 16th birthday, which is the 316 itself. It's the 33rd card. What, what, what age was Jesus crucified at in that story? 33. You see how tightly woven this code is, folks? Tight. This is the source code. And you know, what is, if you bring these two together, you get the 97, 97 is the 25th prime number. If you flip it around, it's the 79 and that's gold. That's gold. And when you do the numerology of these two, nine of clubs, seven of diamonds, look what you get. The 116, what do you have right there? The 116, see how tightly woven this is? All found from the Society of Jesus where this came from. This spelling of this is very, very detailed. And it's tied to Yaldabaoth. So there you go. So is Jesus the son of Yaldabaoth? Well, or is it just Yaldabaoth coming down to play out its own game? I mean, Zeus is Yaldabaoth because Zeus is tied to Jupiter and Jupiter is tied to Yaldabaoth. I mean, it's right here. If you take these two dates right here, found from the 316, found from the Christ, it's going to give you 27. 11 plus 16, we go right back to that 27. Remember, these guys were founded on the 27th of September. Cobalt, and there's the 58. There's the Puppet Master. Oop, and then there's the Jupiter. Jupiter Zeus, the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter. Of course, it would be the largest because it has the most energy to it. The largest figure on the world stage in religion, Jesus Christ. It's tied to Jupiter. Jew Peter. Thank you, Santos Panachi. Jew Peter. <laughs> Folks, you can't miss it now. You can't miss this. Cobalt being 20 tied to duality. I mean, you can't miss this now. Let's get into the game. Now you know how it works. Now you're seeing how it works and the energy because it's the force. Star Wars, the force. How are you going to use the force? So let's break this down and I'm going to show you the game now, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to, this goes right back into my prison planet series, part two, especially. I showed with great significance the way perhaps to get out of this game. If there is such a way, let me show you the game. Let's talk about the game. It's tied to the, these two cards. It's tied to the Christ. We start with the Christ. Here we go. The spelling of it. The numerology is the 316. Tied to these two dates. November 11th, 316th day of the year. March 16th being the 316. The two cards that are associated with this. When you add up the 22 and 33, you're going to get 55. And here's the 55th card in the deck. Let me just be very transparent. Here's the tarot card spread. And here it is. The 55th card in the deck. This is using the Fool at 0 and 22 positions. It's the Five of Swords. Okay? And it's the Five. And what is Five? Five is Leo, folks. This is the fifth house. Five is Yaldabaoth. Five is Jupiter. <laughs> 55. You see? And, and this card right here represents the game that we're playing you see and it goes to this scripture in the new testament revelation 3 verses 16 which matches up to jesus's spelling from the society of jesus and this is what it says so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot 
I will spew thee out of my mouth. What is this saying? See, the interpretation from the church and so many other people, you don't want to be lukewarm. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to be hot or cold. Well, that's not the way I interpret it at all. You want to be in the very middle. This is neutrality. This is love is allowing. This is, I mean, when you came out into this world as a baby, you came out just this way, naked, neutral. You want to go back out the same way. Let thy eye be single. This is the single eye. This is the left eye. This is the right eye. You don't want to be either one of those. See, if you want to get spit out of the mouth of the game, which is just going to be the 13 zodiac signs, so many different constructs with that. I mean, this card right here says it all. So let's go to that card and let's talk about this card. If you want to talk about the game, well, you see, this being the five of swords, and I'm going to get into the definition because these, these guys right here, like, I don't want to play anymore. That's why they got their backs turned and the swords are on the ground. This guy's like, ha ha, I'll just collect your swords. You guys are sore losers. You know, it's kind of how this card's interpretation is. But you see, the five of swords is 60. And feed the wolf is 60. See? So, and five means man. That's why you got five fingers, five toes. Five is Leo. Five is Regulus. The royal star of the lion. And then we go to the five of spades, which is where this five of swords came from. And it's card number 44. And you put into the string of pi. Look at where 44 appears at the 59th and 60th decimal digit. There's the 59. Through the numerology of saying the five of spades, there's the 60 saying the five of swords. You see? And I mean, even spades is 24. Jesus is 24. Through the original Greek, church is 24. Ignatius is 24. So if you don't want to play the game anymore, 316, it's a match to Jesus' name through the Society of Jesus. Right there. If you don't want to play the game anymore, ladies and gentlemen, you got to throw down your sword. you got to become lukewarm, neutral. Neutral. And here's, here's the... Here's the, uh, the code for the card. Right off of Teach Me Tarot. Thank you, Teach Me Tarot. Here are the keywords. Go ahead and pause it and read these. This represents the game of life right here. And, you know, if you go by NASA and what they say, you know what they're going to tell you? Jupiter is the fifth planet. Jupiter is the fifth planet, folks. See? And this is the five of swords. And it's got the V on there, the Roman numeral. There's the 22. What does the word Michael equal? 22. What does the word dragon equal? 22. You see? And it's the lion. I mean, 1 Peter 5, 8, there's a roaring lion seeking to devour you. That's the game of life. So if you don't want to play anymore, if you don't want to play the game of life anymore, you need to be lukewarm which is pH balanced, by the way. pH balanced in your blood, very specific, 7.3, 7.4. That's slightly alkaline on the pH scale. You get over here, you're dead. You get over down here, you're dead. The perfect temperature is around 74 degrees Fahrenheit, right there. And this is what it means. And the interpretation, I feel, has been deviated away from what it really means, what it really means if you want to win the game, because you're tired of playing, you got to throw down your sword and walk away and become lukewarm. And love is allowing. Realizing everybody has a job to do. You don't like, you don't like this group? You don't like the, the Society of Jesus? Stop, stop doing the blame game. Throw down your sword. It's not worth it. Look at all these keywords here. And it's tied to Jupiter, folks. Jupiter's the fifth planet, according to NASA. Maybe that is absolute. In some way, some shape, or form, because it's the five of swords and tied to the five of spades. And there's the X tied to our X chromosomes. Okay? The 24th letter is the X. Jesus is going to be linked to the 24. Ignatius is 24. You can see what this, what's going on with this, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! All right. Well, I hope your jaw was on the floor and you got some good clues out of that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on now into the next topic. Let's get into the 57. It's going to be tied into the zodiac signs, but bam. There it is. It's the, it's the 57. Heinz 57. <laughs> kind of funny there, right? 
You, you can see, if you go watch Back to the Future, you're going to see the 57 all over that movie, the very first one, 1985. It's the 57. I know it's the 201. 201 is going to be tied to a different outcome. It's going to be tied to Mercury. Mercury is tied to the moon and the pineal gland. But nonetheless, it's the 57. And, you know, let me just narrate this for you because we're going to go back to this zodiac again. And let's go back to the Society of Jesus through the Latinized spelling of it to find this seven and five, five and seven found from the 57 right here. How big this Chaldean is on the world stage, the 57. So just stick with me here. So here are the founding dates of the Society of Jesus and the consecration when they actually did their pilgrimage August 15th. And, you know, August 15th in the Western is Leo and September 27th, it's Libra. It's going to change if you follow the Vedic. It's going to be, can it could be Cancer and, uh, and Virgo. But again, all these systems have their own sorts of merit. But nonetheless, you can see the big takeaway with Leo here. But nonetheless, it's Leo and Libra. Libra's the scales of justice. And it's the five, excuse me, it's the five and the seven. Libra's run by Venus. And Leo's run by the sun. So they were founded through the Western in Libra, which is Venus, which is probably where you're going to get that tie into Venus being Lucifer. I feel like Saturn runs this as well, but that's the seven and the five, the five and the seven from these founding dates right there. And I mean, you know, I mean, can you see it now, ladies and gentlemen, the way they spell society is 27. The founding date is 27. And the way they spell Jesus is the 15 and their consecration date was on the 15th. You see how, how valuable Chaldean is? You won't find this in any other cipher like this. Not, not the direct connections like this. So if you want to find the real source code, the truth playing out, stick with Chaldean, ladies and gentlemen. It'll tie into astrology and so many other layers, the cards and tarot. But it's Libra and, and you know, notice they both start with the letter L, Libra and Leo. And it's going to be the 24. Again, the church is 24. Ignatius is 24. It's the mirror of the 42. Libra and Leo. Tied to the consecration date and the founding date for the Society of Jesus. And then, uh, you know, right here. Here's the original spelling of Jesus through the Greek. Where you get the IHS. It's 24. You see? So you can see the, the direct tie-in, ladies and gentlemen, and you have more source code to this now to see how this is all playing out, okay, with this whole entire society of Jesus right here and how astrology, how valuable astrology is and so many different layers to look at with this. So let's get into the last topic now, the consecration. To, to end this you know, this, this great uh, Society of Jesus decoded. The consecration. This is Because this is what it's all about right here. Let's start off with this guy who gave the approval. He gave the nod. The Society of Jesus was founded by this Pope, Pope Paul, St. Paul. And, you know, Paul could be tied to Saturn. <laughs> but... His birth name is Alessandro Farnese. Notice Farnese is a 29. When you add up his total name, it's 63. We bring in alchemy to bridge the gap to get a bigger picture. And it links to this element on the world stage, a big one. It's copper. Copper have that weight of 63. It's got 29 protons. I mean, his the last name. Your last name, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a decoder, if you're decoding yourself, you can separate your last name from your first and middle name because your last name is what you inherited. Your parents didn't give you that. It just was passed on like a baton at a race. Where did it come from? So this guy, the Farnese family, the 29, Yaldabaoth. I mean, so who gave the approval? Yaldabaoth did. Use this guy to do it. This guy just worked for Yaldabaoth. There's the 29. And, you know, that's just a big, you know, the, 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 
the, the solidification here. See, copper's 33. Jesus died at 33. And then the Latinized spelling of copper is cuprum, which is the 29. I can't, if you saw my bloodline decoded, I highlighted uh, Yaldabaoth a lot in that where we came from, where our origins came from. This Yaldabaoth character, the Demiurge, much more powerful than we are. So it has to earn some kind of respect, ladies and gentlemen. You may not like it, but it runs this reality. Again, if you don't like Yaldabaoth, you want to use another deity's name, it doesn't matter. It's a big Ponzi scheme. It owns them all. But here's the consecration. So we know that this guy gave the approval, but it really starts in the year 1534, August 15th, in the sign of Leo the Lion, which is going to be tied to Regulus and the Sun. That's why they got the Sun here. And that's why, you see, Roman Catholic just means Jewish. It's right here. Now, if, they, if this was not true, do you think they would have it here to try to mock you and screw you over and dupe you? Or do you think people just aren't paying attention? See, I already showed the latitude, I already showed the city to city and the mileage and being tied to Yaldabaoth. Remember? It's Jerusalem. That their religious vows were to Jerusalem, Israel, the temple, the origin. And, we're, and, and you're, you're talking about going to a different country, taking the same source energy and moving it into the church and august 15th again to reiterate this 227th day of the year it leaves 138 138 is tied to the phoenix thank you jason Bashirs from archaics the 138 these are all clues and it's it's yaldabaoth folks it's all yaldabaoth the gnostic demiurge which could be tied to Draconian and the Draconian. If you watch my Vatican decoded, it was all in there. But stick with me. I'm going to narrate this. I got a few slides left. Thanks for sticking with me. But you see, it's this 89 that's the big takeaway. Because we know August 15th being the 227th day of the year, the bridge is Actinium. This is the Alpha. 89. Of course, it's going to reduce down to the 17. It's going to reduce down to the number 8. 8 is tied to the Scorpio. But here's where the Jesus Christ figure comes in again. 89 is the, it's a prime Fibonacci number. It's the 24th prime number. And lo and behold, the August 15th card, the day that they did their pilgrimage to Jerusalem. It's the Jack Clubs card. It's the knight. Again, the knight. We, we talked about the knight, the horse on the chessboard. It's the Jack. The Jack of Clubs being the 24th card in the deck. And it just so happens to be the August 15th card. And what is Jesus again? 24. Jesus starts with letter J. This has got the J right on it. I mean, these are subtleties. And then it's not just the prime number, it's the 11th Fibonacci number. And if you study alchemy, the 11th element is sodium. And Jesus said, ye are the salt of the earth. And I mean, the address of where they did this in France, it's number 11. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. It's right there in the door. There it is. At that church where they did the pilgrimage. It's the number 11. You see the 11 tied to the 24. Tied to the day they did this. Tied to the, the mother of or the ruler of the 24 and the 11. It's the 89. It's Actinium. It's Pi. It's Yaldabaoth. <laughs> It's Yaldabaoth. I mean, if you take it through the string of pi, the 89 appears at the 11th digit. 11 and 12. 11 and 12 is 23. 23 is the world star of the line. But look at where it appears. The 11th decimal digit. The 89 does in the string of pi. Pi is 22 divided by 7. There's the 11, folks. You see? They're not sitting down with pi and prime numbers and trying to screw anybody over. They're just being used. They're just, they're being used. And then the 11th card is the Jack of Hearts, another Jack, the J, Jesus. <laughs> That's just pretty apparent how this code works, ladies and gentlemen. And then when we add up, I guess to put the, put the nail in the coffin here, to, when we add up the, all the digits, all 12 digits of where the 89 appears, it's 58 and it's, it's Puppet Master again. And it's tied to 27 in Jupiter and 
Jupiter's Yaldabaoth, the house of Abraxas. And then, you know, going, I think this is my, my last slide here, but, you know, it, it's all going to come to this. The founding date of the Society of Jesus, the 27th of September, it's tied to Cobalt. Remember, the Vatican's tied to that 27. The 127, the 271 through the IHS. Cobalt's 20. Duality is 20. Pawn is 20. Mason is 20. Jesuit is 20. All in the same numerology cipher. Jupiter's 27. It's the puppet master. Okay? It's chaos and order. Isaiah 45, verses 7. Chaos and order. That's what this is all about. And then you can even bring in nickel, and you're going to get the 28 tied to the, the primes and Lucifer and old Saint Nick and nickel's the five. So these numbers are going to encroach the 27 and 28, but... You can see, ladies and gentlemen, there's no escaping the source code. It's playing out and it's using mankind. If you want to win the game, I feel like you got to throw down your sword and not want to play anymore. And it's complicated. But obviously, you know the, the, the way to win it is to become lukewarm. Stop doing the blame game. Stop pointing the finger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what did you see during this presentation? Could have added so much more in there. I, I had a lot more material. I just, just, I, I have so many hours in this thing. Spent a lot of hours on this. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this one. I hope you saw some things in there to, you know, kind of go a little bit deeper with your own decodes. But obviously the big takeaway is, you know, this Society of Jesus spelled in, and then the Jesus character and, you know, being tied to the game of life. And, you know, if you want to win the game, folks, I feel like this is how you win. Throw down your sword and walk away. And you got to become lukewarm. Okay, Luke, use the force. The reason why. These are all in the script of this reality. But the 316 was a dead giveaway because we know it's tied to the Christ. That's how powerful the Jesus character is because it runs the game. Essentially, I mean, the Matrix, it's the architect was it's Jesus. <laughs> if you saw the, the, good, the, good, uh, the, um, the good place, it's Archangel Michael is the architect. They're all saying, and that's, that, that creator was, he's Jewish. So they're all saying the same things, folks. This is no different. All right. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Your Reality. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart, all your donations, your Patreons, those of you that are interested in reading. I have few selected dates for the month of July already been being chosen up, taken up. So just see it, send me an email, decodeyourreality at gmail.com. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, we will see you later.